Hello, this is Mark Wildman of Wildman Athletica, and today we are going to talk about load and unload drills. We made a previous video about this. Load and unload drills are good drills for people who work for a living. This is part of the idea of off-season conditioning that I apply from professional athletes into workmen. There are certain times a year where you do certain things. One of the things that I've been doing a lot is gathering firewood in the high country, loading thousands of pounds of it into a trailer, taking it down from the high country, and then unloading it. We made a video about that where we talked about the extreme ranges of motion that you often end up in and that we should condition for them. Step one, club bell, single hand for 10 minutes a day. That's the easiest way for a workman to stay healthy, wake up in the morning, do 10 minutes of heavy club. If you are prepping for some type of season or if you just need to build really good work capacity the way the old farm boys had, we're gonna start talking about load on load drills that are specific and controllable so you can control the outcome of your training. For this first couple of videos, we will be using a competition adjustable kettlebell. Why competition adjustable kettlebell? Because it's adjustable and I can make it from a lightweight to a heavyweight. This thing goes from 12K to 32K, which makes it 25 pounds to approximately 70 pounds. 70 pounds is a good working weight to do with these drills, but you can pump this up to 150 pounds. There are people who do this drill with old transmissions out of trucks. We're gonna use the kettlebell for this because it's easier and it's what I have handy. The first load on load drill will be a symmetrical drill. We are going to put the weight down on the ground. We are going to point our feet generally straight ahead. There is no rotation in this first version of the drill. We are going to get down, pick it up, set it down, flash your hands, and go all the way down. What you are gonna notice is our kettlebell dynamics that we have built from doing swings and clean and press translate instantly to this exercise. The same thing with outside pendulum and inside pendulum families with clubs, vastly important to build this structure. Somewhere between squats and deadlifts and power cleans lies something like this. I'm going to encourage you to point your feet straight ahead because that's the easiest way to line up. Pick it up, get to the target, set it all the way down. I like to flash my hands just to prove that I've let it go and to relax my hands for a brief second. I open them all the way. This was an old drill that you learned in many types of martial arts. When you do a lot of grip training, you will open your hands to stretch them. I'm just doing that right in the middle of the drill in order to complete a loop in my brain. Set it down, get it up, get it down. You will notice I am picking it up, stepping forward to get within range and setting it down. And I highly encourage you to alter your footstep each time. Pick it up, right, left, right, left, then, left, right, pick it up, left, right, left, right. Everything can be a footwork drill. Make sure you are balancing your footwork out because it's good for your brain, it's good for your body, it's good for all kinds of things. I highly encourage you not to have a good side on anything. The way that we would work on a drill like this would be probably, I'm sweating my face off, is probably time under tension drills. There are three major ways you could organize this type of exercise. You could organize this as an EMOM where you did X number of reps per minute. Usually for an EMOM, you're looking for 40 to 45 seconds of work and 15 to 20 seconds of break. That's one strategy, CrossFitters use that one a lot. If the weight is really heavy, then you could do a timer like we explained in a previous sandbag program video where you set a metronome and you get x number of reps per minute usually if it's a really heavy weight you would start with one rep every 10 seconds and you would build up to say 10 minutes of constant movement and then you would decrease the time between reps so you would bump up the number of reps per minute from say six per minute to seven per minute and then you would build it up towards 20 reps per minute, which would be a rep every three seconds for 10 minutes, which would be 300 total reps. Very simple, easy way 
to build out a program like that. Time under tension, where you could set a time and do as many reps as possible inside of that amount of time. So there's three strategies which you could use to write this program. It depends on what weights you have available. I don't know, maybe we'll turn this into a program. I don't know. There's a lot of programs we can write because we can write a program for absolutely anything once we understand the basics. So think on this, two feet point straight ahead, judo chop the hips, get down low, pick it up. You're gonna get towards your order position However high your object is, the higher the object, the better this goes. Probably don't go above, say, chin height. Put it down, flash your hands so that your hands relax for a second. Grab, get it up, and put it back down. Simple, load, unload. We'll talk about this because there are like 80 versions of this drill, and these are a simple way to build work capacity very easily and quickly for real world scenarios, athleticism, for the real world really helps. I think it really helps. It does.